Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. One, two, three, four, five, seven, 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 six, seven, eight, seven. nine, ten. Okay, so. <sighs> okay, you know what? Looking back, we were complete dipshits of the last episode. Not we, me. We spiraled into madness. Not me. Idiocy. Not oh, me. hello. It's Mary Maggie. So. Hey, the toad is working out fine. I'm just fucking his brains out. Okay, you know what? Can. A after we speak to Jolly and get our jiggy, uh. Get jiggy with it for getting my partner. Oh my gosh. I just can't wait to polish his nails and. Her. Like, now him. Okay. Mary Maggie is definitely a him. Okay. You can tell. Okay. That's just like a monkey or something. A or, well, no, there can be girl monkey. I forgot about that. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wait, you didn't think the goobs could get any dumber? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fucking idiot today. It's because I didn't get a. I swear to god, I'm not making up excuses. I did. Hey, go on the fire. I woke up. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, go on the fire. What'll it do to me? Oh, Ow. yeah, yeah. Oh, cook banjo. I. <laughs> um, okay, so you know what? Uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. That's why I'm kind of dreary today. Dreary? Dreary, dude, yeah. I know. Dreary? Yeah. Dreary's like... Dreary, as in like, whoa, right? No, dreary is like, <laughs> oh dark and dreary, like, spooky. Oh my <clears throat> god, I'm stupid. Okay, Google. Oh my god. What does dreary mean? Dreary, don't and Ah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm not dreary. So never mind, I'm all like... I don't know what the fuck I am, okay? You know what? Shout out to Google. Okay, you know, we have three more Jiggies to get here. I know one of them is... Diarrhea Land! To, yeah, to help out those piggies over there, but we can't do that until, uh... You smell the poop. Until, uh, Hailfire Peas. Suction cups? And then, uh... Oh. Let's see. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, and then we have to, uh... Can I see the other one? Then we have to... Uh, help Tip Touch. Yeah, the egg. With the baby. And then there's one more... Damn, I feel like it was like right in front of us the whole time. You know what, screw it. It's time to move on. You okay. Ready? You ready to move on? Yeah, let's move on. What number of episode is this? Do you remember? 31. 31? I think. Wow, so it took us about six episodes, or seven, whatever. Uh, okay, you know what, there's something... Before we started recording this episode, I asked Elliot a serious question about uh, what he was talking about. He was talking about Seeger. Seeger. You know what? We were so fucking stupid in the last episode. Yeah. I, I would like to, <laughs> Just I would like to raise so the level of intelligence for this episode to make up for our idiocy. So, Elliot, please tell us seriously about the story of Eager for those. Seeger. Se Seeger. <laughs> the story. You said Seeger and then Eager. The story of Tigger. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Please. Tigger's like the bell. Oh! Uh, okay, here's... You guys can chew me out if this is incorrect. I believe the tale of Sigurd is uh, what Lord of the Rings is loosely based off of. So, Sigurd is like the son of a son of a son of a son of a son of Odin. And... A great grandchild. And he's part of the Volsung That's the bloodline. Fast <laughs> and the Volsungs are like these crazy fucking warriors. I'm giving you the TLDR version. Too long, didn't read. And, ah. um, so Sigurd is like, uh, fuck. He's like some warrior and shit, and, like, his. <laughs> fuck, he's like. <laughs> some warrior and shit. And so, what? his dad, uh, also sounds like Sigurd, but it's not Sigurd. It's like, si whatever, fuck. He had, like, this crazy sword, and then Odin smashes his sword and lets his dad die. And so wow. he wants a sword, and he's like, no, you have to reforge this sword. And he gets the sword, and it's super powerful. But didn't he just break it? No, no, his dad, uh, Odin, smashed the sword for his dad. Oh, okay. So later on, when he's more adult-like, he gets that sword. And there's, like, this famous dragon, like, Fenrir, or Fen, Fen some bullshit, and he has a bunch of treasure. And so uh, Sigurd goes to, like, fight the dragon, and he kills the dragon. Um, uh, and you can look this shit up. There's a lot of, like, fan art and stuff about this story. What is it with dragons and treasure? 
everywhere there's always dragons oh, with like wait. piles of treasure. I think his dad pulls the sword out of the, the tree. Not <laughs> <Satan. laughs> Yeah, his dad pulls the sword out of the tree. Ah, uh, okay. Right, because he has to reforge the sword. Anyway, he, so Continue. he goes and he fights the dragon and he fucking kills the dragon. Um, and he has a nice conversation with the dragon. The dragon tells him that like he's gonna die if he takes his treasure. He says, fuck you, bitch, and he takes the <laughs> treasure. Uh, and in that treasure is a cursed ring. And so then he hears that there's like this uh, lady named Bruin, Brunhilda in like a castle and it's surrounded by fire. And uh, in different tellings of the stories, Brunhilda is um, like a Valkyrie or a war maiden and stuff like that who served uh, Odin, the Allfather, I think is what they call Odin. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep this entertaining. I feel like no, dude, go on. Okay, so uh, right, so Sigurd goes and finds Brunhilde with his fucking sweet-ass horse, and his horse jumps to flames. Oh, right, right, Brunhilde is in prison there because Odin asks her to, like, kill a king, and instead she kills another king to save the original king, and so Odin's like, I ain't having none of that shit, and <laughs> imprisons her in a fucking fire-surrounded castle. So he says, the first person who comes to you, you have to marry them. And so Sigurd does this, and he proposes with a, the cursed ring, and um, <clears throat> then, like, some people show up and shit, and she tells them their future and realizes that Sigurd is going to go ask Brunhilde's, like, human father uh, for her hand in marriage, and he says, sure, but uh, Brunhilde sees what's going to happen, and Brunhilde's sister, who's the father's other daughter, Tricks oh. Sigurd with some, like, fucking crazy wine or some shit, and it makes him forget about Brunhilde. And wow. so then, Brim, Brimhilde? Gru, Brunhilde? Marries... Oh, maybe that's who Gruntilda's about. Oh, Gr Gr Brimhilde, I think, is her name. That's who Gr Gruntilde is. Yeah, in this song. game. Uh, I think, because she's described as a sorceress, like a witch. Oh, so, that's probably what you were thinking. You brought that up off, off air. Yeah, yeah not, not Brimhilde, but Brimhilde. Okay. Anyways, Tricks... Sigurd, and then fucking Brunhilde gets pissed. Uh, Brunhilde, I'm gonna save you from the long part of the story. Uh, Sigurd has another kid and switches forms with him and goes to Brunhilde and proposes as his son, and she says she'll marry him. They go back to the father's house. Uh, Sigurd remembers everything, confronts Brunhilde. Brunhilde says, fuck you, bitch, uh, and lies to. Sigurd's brothers by marriage, and they kill him because Brunhilde says that he, like, uh, had sex with her or some shit. Wow. And then she says, lol, just kidding, I lied, and then uh, <laughs> they kill uh, Brunhilde, and then they're buried together. Wow. So, there you have it. The really fucking stupid short version of Sigurd. Oh, I didn't think it was that stupid. Oh, I mean, like, dumbed down. Oh. The story is, like, ornate and nice, and this is like, uh, well, the father has some, like, fucking kids and shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you have it. Wow. Okay. That was a fucking long story. And that's wow. the short version. You know what? When I'm editing this episode, I'm gonna, you know, listen to that whole story, and you know what? I'm gonna comprehend it better, because I'll actually be focused on... Your story. It got really confusing at the end, I know, because I tried to include a bunch of things. But um, yeah, no, that, that, that that sounds kind of cool. So wait, this is the tale of Sigurd. 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 <laughs> oh, Sigurd. S i g u r d. Oh, I, oh, there was a d at the end. Yes, yeah, Sigurd. I thought, Sig I thought it was Sigurd and like Tigger. Ah, yeah, no, Sigurd. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything. Oh. <laughs> Watch, it wasn't even. Oh, there's also Sigmund. I think his father is Sigmund. Hmm. Sigurd the Volsung, I think. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly more intelligent episode of Royal Gooby. Actually, total shout out. The reason I know about this in such detail, there's a podcast, if you all like listening to podcasts, it's called the Myths and Legends Podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, you talked about it in an earlier episode. Yeah, that person told this story. So, like, I didn't come up with this shit. Go like and follow that dude's podcast. 
check it out, man. I basically Monk just like soul brother. told a shittier version of what he tells in the story, and he makes it way cool and actually tells us like fantastic story, and it's really fucking confusing because it's like the son of this son's of son fights this son, 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 and pisses off this cousin's brother's cousin, <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? I am your father's cousin's brother's former roommate. <laughs> what does that make us? I don't fucking know, Seeger. <laughs> or Seeger or whatever. Yeah, Seeger. Uh, oh, by J.R.R. Tolkien? No, no, no. I think he probably retells the story, but... Uh, because oh. he wrote The Lord of the Rings, right? So, yes, again, like I said, it was loosely based off of The Lord of the Rings. Wait, I thought jo George R.R. R. Martin wrote Lord of the Rings. He wrote the fan fiction. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> time to piss off some people. Ha ha ha. Next time on Rogue. Learn more about my smelly butt.